Hi, I'm Chris with Premier Guitar. We're at the Montreal Guitar Show, and we're talking with Lenny Piroth Robert, uh, who's the maker of Daddy Mojo Cigar Box Guitars. Lenny, how are you? Yeah, one of them. <laughs> so uh, the Dolorosa, the one that I'm holding right now, is actually uh, featured one of the one of the cigar box guitars featured in the uh, August issue of Premier Guitar. We did a story on Very cigar exciting. box guitars. We were uh, really uh, surprised to learn not only how much quality goes into cigar box guitar making these days, but how many different options there are in terms of uh, style and make and uh, neck sizes and strings and all of that sort of thing. We started making them um, as three string instruments and that's more t uh, closer to what they were being made um, in the 30s and in the 40s. Um, they started out as one string instruments, fr completely fretless. Um, and we did a lot of them, just like fretless for slide, three strings, and slowly we built sort of a repertoire and then I guess maybe got a little restless and wanted to experiment with you know different uh, size boxes or different scale lengths. Um, and also um, with a lot of different requests from, from customers, we sort of expanded our range. Um, keeps things really interesting for us. So the model that you're holding is actually not an electric, it's a resophonic. It's our first, it's a prototype for our first resophonic instrument. It's got a six inch cordamon cone in it. Um, and it's surprisingly loud for its size. So it's the same body shape as our six string electric models. Um, but in it, we've created a, a wooden sound well and it's got an aluminum spun cone. Um, and it's got a nice nasally sort yeah. of uh, old time really sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and we're really happy with it. Um, we brought it to the show as a prototype, and it's the one that's been getting most attention so far. So it's really um, sort of gratifying for us to, to see it kind of uh, the way that the public's been reacting to this one. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the pickups? They're in your electric models. This is um, the they're, yeah, they're mini humbuckers. Wow. Those are actually wound to the same specs as the um, the Armin pickups that you found on on uh, harmonies in the in the 50s and in the 60s. They're really fat sounding, um, but they have a nice uh, high ends as well. So, um, in, in in the bridge, that one sounds very close to sort of a fat Telecaster bridge pickup actually, um, and we have some that are, that are have one in the neck and one in the bridge and you can uh, split them with the um, with a, a three-way switch so it offers a bit of range too which is nice on a cigar box guitar I mean some people say that we're you know kind of like we make sort of high-end sort of fast racing cars as sort of uh, as, a, as a metaphor for cigar box guitars and yeah we do I mean there's a lot of guys doing them at home which is great that's how we started out and we sort of branched out in something that's a little bit more uh, <laughs> slick I guess and um, so the basic, the, the way these work, I understand, is the neck uh, essentially goes all the way through the instrument, and yeah. then the cigar box itself goes around, and then is it is it it's all glued together? Structurally, yeah, it's it's all glued, and structurally, the tension is, is on the neck itself and on the box. So that's why we're able to put um, those are tens, I think. Um, you can go up to twelves. Um, we've tried thirteen, thirteen acoustics on 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 the resophonic one, and and it takes it because uh, it's it's a neck through right so and it does have uh, any kind of an adjustment to truss rod um, yeah. it's got a, the, for now they have a non adjustable truss rod um, I'm a big fan of early parlor uh, guitars and early national guitars so we kept the V profile like the early sort of um, you know uh, Oscar Smith guitars sure. um, um, and they have uh, they have a non adjustable truss rod kind of like um, the old Martin acoustic guitars now, I understand you have the uh, actual cigar boxes made for you. So, do these come with the cigars? Do you guys smoke all no, the cigars yeah, before you make no, the box? We made a deal with them, so and they, they they leave half of them in, and then we just smoke half because now we've made too many instruments to to be <laughs> we'd be dead by now. But um, yeah, we actually found this really great little shop um, in the Dominican and they make cigar boxes. We contacted them and said, would you be willing to make, we make instruments with these boxes and we, we've, so far we've recycled all of uh, the boxes that we've used for instruments. But at this point we're looking to have something a little bit more standard. And, and, and so we're working with them and it's been going really well. And all the boxes are cedar? Cedar, yeah, Spanish cedar. Do you do any recycle if somebody wants a, a, a guitar made? It's most of the time when people um, 
it's very, our business is very anonymous in a way people are through the website which there's not a lot of human interaction which I guess is um, the reality of, of working in, in the world today um, but we love to work with people that are in the city they get to come to the shop and actually choose their box in person and we have a huge selection of old boxes that go back you know to the 20s and the 30s um, most of those are very small but you can then choose a box that has actually held cigars and that has that smell and there's a little bit more sort of nostalgia that, sure. that's linked to that experience. This is very cool. So people that are interested, uh, Daddy Mojo, they can find you on the web at? Yeah, it's uh, Daddy Mojo dash, uh, sorry, Daddy dash Mojo uh, dot com. So you just Google Daddy Mojo and, and we'll be there. Yeah. Great. Very cool. Thanks very much, Lenny. Nice meeting you. I'm Chris Burgess. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.